Alright, uh, let's find in uh, this question is required to find the modulus and argument of this complex number here. Okay, uh, so before that we have to simplify, right? Uh, so you must know that uh, the z here is this complex number and the bar z here stand from the conjugate of this complex number. Okay, let's see how to solve this. Uh, you have z to be negative 1, so z plus with 1 over bar z is the same as you have to make sure that you put substitute the correct value, negative, negative 2i plus with the conjugate, right? Uh, the conjugate of this complex number definitely will be the changing the sign in front of the imaginary number. So negative 1 plus with 2i, right? Uh, before you finding the modulus and argument of this complex number, you have to write this in the form of a plus bi, right? Uh, you have to write this in the form of a plus bi. Alright, so let's solve this. So negative 1, negative 2i plus with, uh, so we have to simplify this one uh, by multiply it with conjugate. So you have to be 1 over with negative 1 plus 2i. Uh, when you do division involving complex number, we cannot have a complex number in the denominator. So multiply with the conjugate of this, which is negative, negative 2i, negative 1, negative 2i. Right, okay, now let's see, negative 1, negative 2i, plus with, okay, simplify this one. So you have negative 1, negative 2i on top, 1 multiply with this. And this one with this one, you are getting negative one, negative one, you are getting one, right? Getting one. And definitely the middle one will be cancelled off, right? Uh, you are very familiar already, right? When you do expansion, this one, uh, you are getting one, and this one, positive 2i, right? Minus with 2i, right? So definitely you are getting negative, positive, negative, negative, 2 times 2, 4i squared, right? Or in short form, you know the formula, you always know this. If you have a complex number, multiply with its conjugate, you are getting a square plus b square. Right? You can prove this by expanding this. Right? You can prove this by expanding this. So, I just tell you, we can apply this. Or you can straight away say 1 square, 1, plus with negative 2 or 2 square plus 4. Negative 1, i square is negative 1. Right? Negative 1. So you will have uh, negative 1 minus with 2i, uh, positive, negative 1, negative 2i, over with negative 4, right? Uh, negative 4, so negative 1, so become 1 plus 4, you're getting 5. Uh, after 5, after simplifying, you are getting uh, equals to negative 1, negative 2i, then you have negative 1 over 5, right? Negative 1 over 5 and negative 2 over 5i, right? Negative 2 over 5i. So simplify this. Negative 1 minus with negative 1 over 5, right? Negative 6 over 5, right? Whereas for this you have 5, 2, 10, right? 10, 2, negative 2, negative with 2 over 5, you have negative 12 over 5i. Ah, so means that you're getting z plus with 1 over bar z. After simplify, you're getting a complex number, a single complex number, negative 6 over 5, negative 12 over 5i. Right? Uh, so later on, the question is want you to find the uh, argument, right? The modulus and argument for this, which is this one, right? Uh, the modulus and argument for this. So how to finding this? Uh, the modulus and argument for this. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, let's find the modulus. Okay, modulus will be very simple. Modulus of z plus with one over bar z. Sorry, one over bar z will be the same as the formula. Will be the square root, right? To find the argument, you are taking the a square, uh, negative six over five square, negative six over five square plus with plus with negative 12 over 5 squared, right? Negative 12 over 5 squared. Uh, this is a way of defining the modulus square root. Okay, this one you have 36, negative 6 squared, 36 over with 25, plus with 12 squared, right? 12 squared, you have 144, 
over with uh, 25 or so okay, over with 25 so if you add up these two you are getting square root of uh, 6 plus 4 36 plus 144 okay uh, you are getting the value of 180 180 uh, 180 divided by 25 right uh, so okay the modulus of z plus 1 over z usually we already uh, study we have we don't change this to decimal right uh, we don't using decimals okay we were using in a third form okay which we will learn later so now i teach you first so 180 is uh, 180 is 36 times with 5, right? Uh, 36 times with 5. So you know that 36 times with 5, you are getting uh, 180, right? Uh, you are getting 180. So if you look at this, you can uh, bring up the 25, uh, 36 over with 25, 36 over 25, multiply with square root of 5, right? Uh, square root of A, Multiply b, so square root a, square root b. So you have square root of 36, you have 6. Square root of 25, you have 5. And this will be square root of 5. Uh, this will be the modulus of z for this question. Okay, now I have already find the modulus. So how to find the argument, right? Okay, let's see. Alright, okay, let's see. How to finding the uh, argument, right? So of course, we have to need the help of argon diagrams to know where is the... the uh, which quadrant does this complex number fall? So real and imaginary axis. So uh, this is a negative uh, first. It's a argument for this, right? Argument for this. So which is uh, uh, for this one? Negative six o five, right? Negative six o five, negative six o five, and negative twelve o five. So both x and y value will be negative. So which is in the in the third quadrant, right? Uh, in the third quadrant. So where is the uh, argument, right? Uh, just now we have to look at my the conclusion. It uh, is in the third quadrant, so it cannot going this way, right? Cannot going this way. This is more than one hundred eighty. As you always remember that the argument only can take the value between uh, negative pi and pi, or negative one hundred eighty and one hundred eighty. Okay. Uh, so this is already more than one hundred eighty. Okay, so I have to go in this way, right? Uh, so the argument will be here. Uh, this will be your argument. Uh, your argument will be here. So how to find this argument? You have to find the value of alpha first, right? Uh, you have to find the value of alpha here. Means the acute angle here, the reference angle here that you learn during your study of trigonometry. So how to find alpha here? So the formula alpha is always the same. Arc tangent modulus. To make sure it's positive, we put a modulus, right? Uh, so uh, for this case, it will be negative 12 over 5, negative 12 over 5, uh, and later on, negative 6 over 5. Uh, so while we finding, we have up tangent the value of 2, right? Uh, so you divide this one, negative 1 over 5, and negative 1 over 5, 12 over 6, you're getting 2. Negative positive, okay, modulus, you're still getting positive. So, okay, let's find the value in radian form. Alright, okay, which gives you the value of, okay, by using calculator, you can find that it will be negative 1 point, uh, uh, sorry, 1.107. 1 1.107. 1 so, it means that your alpha will be 1.107. Uh, this is not the argument, this is the value here, right? 1.107. Uh, so you want to find the theta here, the argument, you have to using 180, right? 180 here, the argument, 180, this is a straight line. So 180 is referred to pi in radian. Uh, subtract, subtract with the value of alpha here, uh, this value here, to get this value, which is 1.107. Uh, uh, so I have to remind you something that uh, this is in the third quadrant, right? You know that this is moving clockwise. Negative is a negative angle. So you have to put a negative here. Uh, remember that. So your argument, uh, the argument for this case, or we said that the argument, uh, the argument for z plus with 1 over bar z, uh, for this one, right, is the same as theta argument. 
which is negative uh, you're taking the value of pi uh, pi minus with 1.107 you have 2 point negative 2 point 0 negative 2 point 0 3 5 alright radian uh, radian so this will be the argument for this uh, uh, for this value here okay argument for this so modulus this is your modulus and this will be your argument all right why there is a negative value here because it follow the clockwise in this quadrant right uh, at first we're finding the alpha and later on we find the argument so instead if the question asking asking us to state the uh, polar form let's say polar form the formula for polar form you know that polar form will be in the form of R uh, cos theta plus with I sine theta here, right? Uh, this is your argument. This is your modulus of Z and modulus. So now for this case here, the polar form for this, right, polar form for this will be, you know that the polar form will be R, uh, the polar form, the R here will be 6 over 5, 6 over 5, square of 5, uh, cos as to state the uh, polar form so your theta uh, your theta is negative 2.035 uh, negative 2.035 plus with i sine theta negative 2.035 so this will be the polar form for this complex number okay and the most important thing is you must know how to find the modulus and argument for this. Alright, that's all for this question.